Today, I'm gonna to talk about mounting your NAS into your Home Assistant instance and being able to browse it via the media folder. So let's get started. Before you get started with this, you need to make sure you have a user set up on your NAS or your device that you're gonna to connect to that allows the appropriate permissions to be able to connect to it from Home Assistant. You'll be specifying a username and password in the command that I show you now, every, Synology, or every NAS is different. I use a Synology DS1918+. So I'll leave the security part of it up to you to determine the best way to connect to the NAS or the best security posture for your NAS. So with that, let's get over to our development version of my Home Assistant instance and let's get things going. So your media browser is accessible via the sidebar on your Home Assistant instance. And it's been there since I think 0 0.115, way, way old versions of Home Assistant. So if you're running anything near new, you should have the media browser. And what it does is it looks on your device for stuff within the media folder. And you can see here already that I've put some stuff in the folder. So here's a couple of uh, files that are in the media folder itself. And then I've created a mount point on my NAS that allows me to look at anything within that NAS files directory and be able to play it within Home Assistant. So what I'm going to show you today is how to mount that NAS directory in Home Assistant so that you can you can get into it. You can always put stuff here in this folder, the media folder, by using something like Samba Share or something else, and then you can play those from here. The use cases for what I'm talking about today are things like camera files, for example, that you want to store on your NAS or if you have a bunch of media that you want to play from your NAS in Home Assistant, you can do that as well. It, it's a use case for storing media files off of your NAS or off of your Home Assistant device and then being able to do stuff with them on Home Assistant. We're going to do two things today. We're going to create a shell command and that shell command is actually going to do the work of mounting the directory and doing the authentication to connect the Home Assistant device to your NAS. The second part of it we're going to do is we're going to make sure that shell command runs when Home Assistant starts up. So for that, we're going to create an automation. That way, every time you restart Home Assistant, then it then will mount that, sh that uh, NAS directory for you. Now, keep in mind that if you are creating a custom directory on your device, that this is not going to apply as much because with the media folder that's built into Home Assistant, it's already available for you. You would have to go in and create another directory and then mount that directory. And this gets into file mounts and a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm not gonna go into detail on today. This is simply taking the existing media folder that is serviced by your media browser in Home Assistant and overlaying or mounting a device uh, directory into that so that you can access it. Now, what you'll need to do is you'll need to edit your configuration.yaml file in order to add the shell script. And we're going to do that using file editor on this, on my version of Home Assistant. You can use Visual Basic Studio or file editor or whatever you want to use to access the file, but it will be the configuration.yaml file. So let's go into file editor and let's go into our configuration file. And if you're not already there, you can click on that in file editor and go to configuration.yaml. And then the file shows up over here. And I'm going to collapse this sidebar so I can get a better view of the file. Okay, so we're going to start with a shell command. And this is something that you can use to run shell commands within Home Assistant. It's a built-in function. I remember using YAML, so you need to have your syntax correct, which means two spaces after uh, the shell command. And we're going to create a shell command called mount NAS folder. This is just the name, so you can call it whatever you want to. And then we actually do the command next. And the command is actually what you would run on your operating system if you were to run it directly in a terminal. So in this case, we're going to make a directory and we're going to call it media. And this is, when we do it this way, this is part of the environment that you're in. So in this case, you're inside the Home Assistant environment. And so it's going to create a folder based on the environment you are in. So this is not necessarily your host environment. So it wouldn't be a media folder on the host environment. It's going to be a media fo folder within the Home Assistant environment if you run a shell command through Home Assistant. So in this case, as I showed you, I have a folder called NAS files. 
And I'm going to create a folder called NAS files like that under the media directory. And what that does is that also, since the media folder exists within Home Assistant, I don't have to create a folder hierarchy or a folder structure to house my, house my NAS files folder. So I'm going to leave it as NAS files. And then the next part of this is to mount using CIFS. And then these commands are all specific to the, to the way you want to mount your NAS, or if you have a specific way to mount files on your NAS or a file system type or whatever, you need to, to pay attention to this. Uh, dash O is a flag and version uh, is going to be 3.0. Now for Synology DSM or Synology NASs, there were some issues with um, mounting this and by using the version 3.0, that seems to have solved some of the issues. I'm going to leave it as 3.0 because that works for me. You may have to play around with the version versioning for this or something else, but uh, this works in my case. So no server info. Username is going to be my username for Synology. And I will leave it as a placeholder for now. And password again, a placeholder. And then my domain is going to be whatever domain you're working on. Now, what I didn't say at the beginning is in addition to having uh, your, your NAS set up with security, you need to have SMB set on up. So you're doing SMB sharing with the Synology NAS or with the NAS. So what the domain is, a, is something that's a configuration feature within the SMB environment. So I'm just going to leave mine as work group. If you have a different domain, then you would specify the different domain. And then what I would specify uh, is the actual path for the Synology NAS. And this little guy is in my way. Let me do this. Kind of hard to see on the edge here. Let me move myself out of the way too. So 172.16.1.193. And then for me on the Synology NAS side of things, it's going to be the name of the folder. So, or the folder hierarchy. So I know in this case, I want to look at my stored blue iris camera alerts. So BI storage in its case sensitive alerts, I believe. And that's the file location on my NAS that I'm going to put this into or that I'm going to go get files from. And then where I'm going to put this or mount this to is my media NAS files directory. So let's go back over that command again. So this is a shell command. I'm going to make a directory called media NAS files. I'm going to mount using CIFS version 3.0 with no server info and the username and password of my NAS and the domain of my NAS, this folder here, 172.16193 BI storage alerts. That is my Synology NAS and the folder on the NAS that I want to get media from. And then I'm going to point that mount to media NAS files, which is a folder on my home assistant instance that allows me or that will allow me to browse it with the media browser that you've seen over here. So once we do all that, we can go ahead and save this as a shell command. Now, once you save it as well, you're going to want to restart Home Assistant. And uh, before I do that, I'm going to fill in my username and password, and then I will restart Home Assistant so it will connect appropriately. Once you have saved that, uh, you come back over to your uh, server controls. And I always, always stress the importance of checking your configuration before you read a, re try to restart it. So I'm going to check my configuration. It says it's valid. And I'm going to, and before I go any further though, I want to set up an automation and then the automation, I want to actually call that shell command. Cause right now there's a shell command, but it's not going to do anything. So I want to have an automation run that automatically mounts that directory. Now you don't have to do this in an automation. You can create a button or something that mounts this after the fact. Uh, there are probably use cases for that. For example, you would start home assistant up directory would not be mounted. You would push a button on your dashboard or whatever to mount the directory. And then it would show you the media files. You could conceivably probably also create a secondary button 
that would unmount that folder as well. And then you would have it only mounted when you needed to mount it. Uh, but in, for the sake of simplicity today, we're going to create an automation that will automatically mount this directory at Home Assistant Boot. So let's get into automations and look at that. And for going to automations, I'm going to use my shortcut key. Hitting C on the keyboard brings up the shortcut menu to navigate to different sections of Home Assistant. So I'm going to uh, go to automations now and I'm going to navigate to automations. And I don't have any automations yet, so we're going to create one. So I'm going to add an automation here, and it'll be a blank or empty automation. And I'm going to call this mount NAS folder for the name of the automation. And for the trigger, I'm going to use the restart of Home Assistant. So I go to Home Assistant here, and I look at the event. And the event is start, so that means that when Home Assistant starts, this is going to, uh, this automation is going to fire off. And then for my actions, I'm going to call a service, call service. And the service name is going to be exactly what we just did, shell command. Now you see here that I see I see the shell command mount NAS folder as a selectable option here for my service. You will not have that unless you restart Home Assistant after you create the shell command. So you could create the shell command, restart Home Assistant, then come in here and create the automation, call the service, and type in shell command. That might be an easier way for you to do that if you don't see the shell command. That way you don't typo it, but you can type in the service. So if I just typed in shell command, mount NAS folder, just like that, without seeing this up here as an option, as long as you typed everything correctly, it should run as well. And that's all I'm gonna do here. I wanna verify it in YAML. So I'm just gonna take a quick look over here in YAML myself back on over here on the side. So mount NAS folder, description I've got blank, mode is single, which is fine. We only want it to run one time. Platform home assistant start, no conditions, and then action service is shell command mount NAS folder. And that's exactly what we want to do. And we can save that. Now, again, if you try to run this automation before you've restarted and pulled in that shell command, then it's probably not going to work. In fact, it won't work. However, uh, after saying all this and saying you can choose which way to go, I would recommend once you do the shell command and file editor, then you go ahead and restart Home Assistant and then come back and create the automation. Now what I will do is I will restart Home Assistant and make sure everything is remounted when I'm done. So under configuration, server controls, again, hitting the C on the keyboard first, go to server controls, check my configuration, and I'm gonna restart Home Assistant. And are you sure you want to restart it? The answer is okay. And while it's restarting, I will stress the importance of making sure that you have backed up your Home Assistant using a snapshot first, and you have pulled that snapshot off of your Home Assistant device into local storage or somewhere where you can get to it. Because if you do something weird and you do something, you're, you're, you're messing with the drive structure. If you mess it up or do something, typo it or whatever, you could potentially lose your Home Assistant set up this way. So number one, be careful with what you're doing. And number two, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, and take that backup off your device because you may not be able to get to it if Home Assistant doesn't boot. Now it looks like I've already restarted here. And let's go check our media folder and see what's in here. So I can click on media browser and I can see that the folder is actually mounted here. This is the NAS files folder. And it says no items. Now, what that does tell me, if there's nothing in here, is it probably did not mount correctly. So what I see here are three items. I see the NAS files folder, which we mounted, or created a mount point for. I see the MP4 uh, file and a, another file. And I see those um, here, and I know I've put those in the media file folder. So what we can do is we can uh, check the NAS files folder, and it says there's no items here. So let's go troubleshoot. and. For those of you that have watched my videos and see that I leave some troubleshooting in, I do that on purpose. It helps you to understand the troubleshooting process. It helps you also to know that I'm not infallible and things happen, right? So let's go look at the command in our file editor and see if that is what the problem is. So over to file editor and we'll go in the configuration file. And here we are in the configuration file. For the sake of uh, credentials, I've 
X'd out my username and password again, but everything else is left the same before I did troubleshooting. If I read the command here, everything else looks the same until we get to this spot right here. And it says no server info. That is an incorrect command. It should be no server I-N-O. And then once we've put that in there and we put back in our username and password, we will have to restart Home Assistant to get it to you to uh, pick up the new shell command in the configuration. And then the automation will run and then it should mount the, the uh, NAS folder. So let's try that out. I'm gonna reset my password and username correctly in here and then restart Home Assistant. And we'll come back on the other side and see if it's mounted that directory. Okay, Home Assistant's now restarted. And I see the NAS files directory here, which I should. If I click on it, I should see content in this folder. And I do, I see a, an MP3 and an MP4 file. These are two files that I know are on my NAS. And by the way, there are other things in that, that NAS files directory, but they are not media files. So they don't show up here. I probably have a couple hundred data files and stuff in there, but they don't show up as media files in the media browser because they can't be played. Now, if I click one of these files, it should just play those in Home Assistant. So let me click this one. This is a video file of mine that I've got on there, an MP4. And there it is. It's playing my file directly from the NAS into Home Assistant. Seems to be doing pretty good here. I'm just kind of scrubbing through the video a little bit and seeing how well it plays. Uh, it loads pretty fast. I've got a gig connection between my NAS and my Home Assistant device. So it works really well to play media files. And if you wanted to play uh, a little bit of sound file, you could do that as well. And it's playing that one. And if I go back to the main media folder, you can also put stuff in the main media folder and play that as well directly from Home Assistant. And that works very, very well. So you can see now that I've mounted the NAS directory. I've created an automation for it. And whatever happens to go in this directory can then be played through Home Assistant. If you have other automations such as Frigate or something else that write to this directory, then you have a place to store your files off of your Home Assistant device. So it gives you the ability to do things with it once you have it mounted. So I hope this was helpful for you. It was a request of one of my viewers to make a video on mounting a directory. Now I realize I didn't go into a lot of detail on the mounting options because there are so many devices out there that it's a, you're gonna to have to figure out the best options for the type of file system you're mounting, uh, the versioning, the flags that go along with that and everything else. This is a basic overview of taking and demonstrating how you can mount a NAS and actually use those NAS files within Home Assistant. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Like the video with that thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And if you feel like you wanna support the channel, I now have the ability for you to join the channel with memberships. Uh, there's some details, just click the join button down below and uh, read all about it. So uh, with that, we'll see you on the next video.